Hi there, I'm Andrew Voigt. Welcome to my Component Studio FAQ. Today I want to show you how to export your Component Studio designs into print and play files for you to print at home. On the designs page, you'll notice that each of your designs has a drop down menu on the right hand side. Select this arrow to open it and notice that one of the options is export print and play PDF. When you select this, Component Studio brings you to Options page. You can select your paper sheet size, and you can choose whether or not you want the print and play to include backs. Choosing yes will include backs for all your cards. And when you choose no, no backs will be included on the print and play file. I'll choose yes for this example. Next, you're gonna pick which components to exclude. I always have a default or template card included with my designs, so I always want to make sure to exclude that one. That card will not be included on the print and play file. Press the export button. Component Studio will format your print and play and send you an email when it's ready. That email will include a download link for your PDF. Select it and enter the save location. When the download is done, you can go ahead and preview it and print it. Note that these are jumbo cards, so it fits two to a page. If you are using regular poker cards, nine cards would fit on a page. Be aware that the bleed area around the edge of a card is removed when generating the print and play file. This allows you to separate two cards with a single cut and it saves space, allowing you to fit more cards per page. In this example, the top two cards are the front of my design, and the bottom two cards are the back of my design. If we want them to line up appropriate, most of the print and plays generated will need you to flip them along the long edge of the paper to line up accordingly. If you're using double-sided printing, make sure you have your printer set up appropriately. And that's all there is to creating and using a print and play file for your component studio designs. One tip I want to leave you with that I do. I usually order the first copy of my prototype from the game crafter, but when I want to make updates to it, I oftentimes print the faces of cards using the print and play file on a page of sticker paper. Then I cut those cards out and just put the new stickers over the cards in my prototype that I want to update. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have questions or other topics you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment. But other than that, I'm Andrew Voigt, helping you make games to be proud of.